Agronomist Javier Hereda inspects each leaf of this lab-grown bean plant. He has spent the last four years studying and nurturing it to save the species from extinction. It's a wild variety from Costa Rica that's at risk of extinction. This is probably the only remaining specimen in existence. We are regenerating it, simulating its environment. These wild species hold the key to resilience genes that can offer a solution to water deficits, pests and disease. The seeds of this and tens of thousands of other native plants are collected here on the outskirts of Colombia's third city, Cali, for the world's largest tropical seed bank for beans, cassava and animal feed plants called Future Seeds. In the bank's laboratories, researchers prepare each seed for storage or research, selecting the optimal ones and discarding any that are damaged. Others work on DNA extraction and gene sequencing to decipher and translate the plant's genetic code. Experts say it's vital to breed more resilient crop varieties at a time when food supplies are increasingly vulnerable to extreme weather, deforestation and other human activity. Okay. So we have uh, two major threats that are existential. One is the genetic erosion. Several of these kind of uh, diversity are disappearing. Uh, due to urbanization, uh, to roads, uh, to, uh, to kind of human activity. The second is climate change. The world used to cultivate more than 6,000 different plants, but it's estimated that about 75% of crop diversity has been lost in the last century. The bank hopes to reverse that trend. These airtight packages store more than 60,000 samples of beans and forages and they're kept here in this huge fridge at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Scientists call it an insurance for the future. Here we hold the seeds that belong, the genetic resources that uh, belong to the countries of origin. We uh, keep them, we conserve and uh, maintain them alive and available also to the public. It's, uh, putative solutions to uh, challenges that we cannot imagine at the moment. Already solutions for today's agriculture, but also for the future. Thanks to donations, the seed bank is using artificial intelligence to speed up crop analysis and breeding new, more resistant varieties, trying to keep pace with an increasingly deteriorating world. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Palmira, Colombia.